Ladies and gentlemen, Six Fig Stock Trader here on YouTube. Today we are going to be talking about how to separate your miners in DX Pool in the Management tab. So if you're like me, you went out and bought about three or four or two or ten box miners from Gold Shell, and you started mining on DX Pool. Well, one thing you might have noticed is that by default, it just lobs them all together in one single line. And you can kind of see how the health of all your miners is doing just based on the terahash. It would be nice to separate these into each individual workers so you can examine the statistics and data from each miner. So with that said, we'll go over how to do this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is coordinate the miner's IP address to the specific physical miner on your shelf, rack, desktop, wherever you have this thing. So what I did was go ahead and create a Microsoft Word spreadsheet that just says this IP address is miner1. And then I went to the box and wrote miner1 or CKB1 on each box. So that way I know when I look at my DX pool management, which miner is underperforming and maybe it needs service and it'll make it that much easier to pull from the line. So with that said, you're going to want to open up your gold shell miners software page. And this can be done by entering in the gold shell miners IP address. Then what we're going to do is click on miner. And then you can kind of see how I have these, this first example already set up. You can see that right here, there was a huge dip where I took my miner offline for a couple minutes to complete this task. But basically all you're gonna do is add dot and then whatever text you want after this. So let's go ahead and work through this. And you can see here's DX pool right now. And we'll go to the second miner that I want to go ahead and, and adjust. So this is miner number two. And so what we're going to do here is go up to pool settings, click on DX pool, get your username, stuff like that uh, ready. And basically what you do is type in a dot. And I'm just going to go miner two. And then I'm going to click apply. And so then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is remove this old pool settings. And it'll take a few minutes for this to fire back up sometimes. And you will see this reflect in DX pool. I'm not sure how soon after, but we can see that miner two is now on the network. And you are gonna see how all these stats take about an hour to fully populate into each individual uh, minor. So we're going to see uh, these stats change greatly over an hour. You'll see this reduce and you'll see these uh, go ahead and uh, increase. So now that we have minor one and two, we can go to minor three. And I just kind of have this one pulled up and ready. Three. Go ahead and apply that. And we will remove the old one. And we'll do the same one with minor four. And we will remove the old one. And so now we'll go ahead and refresh the DX pool screen. And you will see that we have all four of these uh, miners now in order. With that said, this lower this lower tab should just read zero in a few minutes. And we can kind of go ahead and see that. Uh, looks like the terahash hasn't picked back up, but it takes about an hour for these stats to come back. And so folks, I hope this helped you. And this is a great video if you plan on mining in the DX pool and you have more than one of the same box, this is how you separate everything. And it doesn't matter if you're using uh, CK box, mini doge, KD box, it, it'll all work the same. You just need to go ahead and make sure that you add that dot and then minor one or what, however you want to go ahead and name your worker. So dot name of the worker. So I hope you guys found this helpful. 
Again, feel free to subscribe and smash that like button if this helped you. Big shout out to all the Patreons who support this channel. Three bucks a month. Get your name, YouTube channel name, business name on this banner. See you guys on the next one.